What's up, everybody? Hey, all. Sorry. I'm trying to go live and my computer is not having it. And the dog. The neighbor's dog is barking. Another Friday. Let me let me sign on to this here YouTube here so I can see your beautiful comments. Okay, hello, sorry. Hello, Keith, Jeremy, Max, Greg, Infinite, Spellbox. <sighs> hey, everyone. I'm going to put this over here, actually, because it's easier for me to see. Good luck, Spike. That sucks. Yo, DA Dub ordered three copies of the Transformers trade paperback. That's awesome. Thank you, Jay. We got a crier. Owens cried while reading Transformers issue six. Welcome. No shame here at all. Thanks, James. I will not be at WonderCon. Spent all day thumbnailing my first comic, getting psyched for the stream. Right on, Jill. No spoilers. Spags has not read issue six yet, so mindful of Spags. Dom's waiting for the trade. Right on. Respect. Sound seems a bit low. I'll crank it a little. Oh, it is low. Sorry. Thanks, Mateo. That should be better. I gotta be honest with you right now. I do not feel like drawing at all. I had my sketchbook out. It's over there somewhere. <coughs> um. To be totally honest, like if, if I had my left my own devices, I'd probably really get into painting. You know, and like doing full color paintings like Mateo Scalera, because he's so awesome and this stuff is so inspiring. I'm not exactly a classically trained artist like he is, but he is amazing. He's amazing. That dog again. He's amazing at what he does. He's really good at color. And he's good at simplifying it too. So, um, I just love to do some like heavy metal style covers with like airbrush and that kind of thing. I'm gonna bring the, I just don't feel like drawing today. <laughs> Here, this is better. That's okay, so I can see the comments. 
Hi. Hi, Samira. Gage, I love drawing when I work. Uh, Max, I have picked up more Magic Square. I got the, um, Bruticus that I have. I, I would, I think I might try and piece it together today because we're going to have dinner together tonight as a family and then I think the kids are going to bed early, so. Yeah, I might try and put that together. I'm a little scared, but it's time. I, it's been it's sitting in my closet for like a month, so. Eric's been on the I suck mode for the past week. Hard to get motivation. Well, I feel that, Eric. Um, so, Ryan, I was going to like put this into the amplifier. That's connected to my computer, but my... My amplifier... That was connected to my computer, made my computer overload, and crashed my entire computer right before I was supposed to go live today, so... So, computer trouble as well. Uh, oil or watercolor? Or, I'm assuming watercolor for Gage. Gage's, Gage's question. Always watercolor. Daniel, I still do play Magic the Gathering. Uh, Spellbox Comics wants to know how dancing was, and it was awesome. For those of you that don't know, I swing dance with my wife, Rachel. I am Brunson wants to know, do you have any tips for drawing tiny figures? When I do tiny figures, I always do these little calligraphers. I don't usually use microns because they look a little stiff. Some, I, I, I use microns all the time, but uh, these little Pigma calligraphers that are really awesome. This is a 2.0. Most of the time I use a 3.0, but I'm all out of 3.0s right now. So I, I order 3 and 2s because... Jet pens usually sells out, so when they sell out of threes, I buy twos. Simone, I'm glad. Style Comics, hello from France. I'm going to be in France for Free Comic Book Day in May. So I'll see you there, maybe. Doing a wash in acrylic and coloring with alcohol markers creates a watercolor effect. That's sweet, Yuri. I've also heard of this technique. <clears throat> um, it's like you pencil something and then you watercolor it, and then you do like acrylic over your watercolor wash. So you like you do like a watercolor wash over your pencils, and then you build up on layers over that with acrylic. That was obviously not going to get moved by watercolor. Or, you know, if you put water on it, it won't go away. Which I, is a problem that I have with a gouache. I really don't like... I mean, I like using gouache, but then if I want to change anything, uh, you know, you need to put a little water in the paint that you put over a gouache thing, and it doesn't like that. It, it, it just pulls everything up, so... There's no cons for sure except for Heroes Con. I will be at Heroes Con in North Carolina. I'm feeling like I should draw a Zaku today. Sorry, this is going to be a lame. I'm feeling real lazy today, guys. I'm not sure. Don't feel like drawing. So here I am, just live, just chilling. Sorry.
Peter, no special techniques. I just drew Devastator technically bigger than he really is, which made him seem more massive. West Coast Avengers. That's what I was going to talk about. Extremity, the Kickstarter. It's in the it's in the description. Um, we're over two hundred k. Insane, incredible. Thank you everyone for all your support. It's hard. It's crazy to believe. So just in case you don't know, I'll give a little spiel. I'm doing a uh, Extremity signature edition on Kickstarter, partnering with Skybound. Um, who is a partner with uh, Extremity. We're putting it together. We're doing raw scans for the whole book. That's like all 12 issues. That is Every raw scan of the book that exists is going to be in this signature edition. It is basically an artist edition. It's just Skybound's name for an artist edition. Uh, and it's available on Kickstarter. Uh, we're, doing a, we're doing a Kickstarter for three weeks. It started in earlier in March, and I believe the last day to be a part of the project is on the 27th. It's super exciting. There are a ton of sketchbooks down here as well, full of extremity sketches, because it was all I was thinking about, all I was doing, all I was working on for years. Um, that's all going into uh, the Art of Extremity book, which is a companion book that goes is, is an option to go with the Extremity Signature Edition. So you have the Signature Edition, which is like this a big artist edition, two scale, 11 by 17, and then an Art of Extremity, which is smaller. It's like a kind of a regular hardcover book. But we have a little built-in shelf in the slipcase. Super cool. I know I'm just rotating a fake object here right now, but it will be real soon. And I hope you uh, join in because it's going to be super exciting. So there's that. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm feeling exhausted. But I do feel like we should do some work, or to do something. So I'm going to get out some Bristol. Excuse me. I'm going to draw a Zaku. I think. Or some sort of Gundam. Because I love drawing Gundam. And I'm just going to watercolor a pencil sketch. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my watercolors. They are somewhere around here. And that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Nail, I play Helldivers almost every night. Actually, no, I don't. I play two times a week. Thursday nights for sure with friends. And then maybe like once on the weekend. I don't know if my dad's in the house. Somebody's asking what my favorite guitar is. I have too many guitars and that is a problem. That's a me problem. I need to work on that. I am a materialist, I think, at heart. But, um... This is a Gibson SG from 2006 that my father bought me. Shout out to Steven Johnson. Might be in the chat right now. Uh, this pro this might be my favorite guitar. I don't, I don't know. It's 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 really loud. It's brash. I don't love this bridge pickup, but I, I really like the the neck pickup. for me. I, my dad's a very generous person and uh, you know, I don't know. He, I think my dad, and my dad would tell anybody this, my dad I think always wanted to kind of learn how to play a musical instrument so this is a probably a story that many people have heard but when I was learning how to play guitar it started with me just my parents wanting to be me, wanting me to be musical and my dad and my mom were like, let's get you started on piano, because my mom played piano. We had a piano in the house, and my mom tried to teach me the piano, and that did not go well at all. I was very bored, and I did not want to take piano lessons from my mom. So then they tried hiring a piano teacher for me, and that didn't work either. And then finally, my dad's like, what do you want to play? And I had just finished uh, reading through all of my encyclopedias that we had, because we were homeschooled, and so my mom had all these encyclopedias. And there was one about music, and on the last page of this music one, this is in the 90s, 
mid 90s there was a little image of uh kurt cobain playing his fender mustang in the in utero tour and i was like i want to be like that guy so i was like i really want to learn guitar thank you kurt and uh my dad brought me to the store and uh he bought me this sg i'm just kidding he bought me a really crappy you know pv squire guitar signed me up for lessons that was when i was 11 and uh two years went by after like learning like mary had a little lamb and stuff and it was really boring and i almost quit my dad took me to the basketball like a, an outdoor like basketball park and we were shooting hoops and um i remember like i was like dad i want to quit you know we're throwing hoops and my dad he's just is, like throwing hoops and he's like that's not happening <laughs> you're not quitting <laughs> He wouldn't let me quit, so uh, he like forced me to go, and my uh, I'm indebted to my father for that because after that I finally broke through and really started to love it, especially like in late middle school, early high school, I just really took to it, and then in college I was in a band, and I really needed an electric guitar and I had no money. This was in 2006. My dad bought me this guitar, so I'll never sell this. That's a long way around of getting of, of a story, but this guitar has been broken three times in the back of the neck. Once TSA, they say they didn't snap the neck, but if I flew with it and I opened it. TSA had broken into the lock. They broke my SG lock, and I found this guitar wrecked. Like it was a, the headstock was like, and I thought I was gonna have to throw the guitar away because it's like you know. Where do, you, where do you put a new neck on, you know? So when they glued it, it was fine. It was like 130 bucks. Um, then uh, during, I don't remember how, it broke again before COVID. And then during COVID, I put it on a, a, a moving chair and it flew off while I was on the computer. So three times is the charm. I, I Hopefully it, the glue will stick. Uh, but yeah, this is a, the mark of pride. There's so many scratches, buckle rash. And it's still, uh, the G string still is always, always is flat when I wail on it, and it's like part of the guitar, and uh, it's just the best. Just like it looks like it's been through shrapnel down here. I'm just banging on it. Thank you, Dad. Thanks, Steve. Shout out to Steve Johnson in the chat. All right, we're gonna get some paper. Let's get started. got some Strathmore 500 right here. We got semi-smooth bristles, which is just a little more tooth on it than a normal plate. Um, let me just make sure here. Yeah, we're good. So it's got a little more tooth on it than a normal plate, and um, I don't like it because my it's really hard to use microns on it, and uh, it's fine. I do like it. I, I shouldn't say I don't like it. I just don't really do pages on it, you know? It's too toothy. I think I just want to do a square. far we're into this I've barely drawn anything I haven't drawn anything I actually have not drawn anything on the drawing stream I'm gonna turn my hat around because it's gonna block the camera I do hope everybody's well and I'm not burnt out I'm really not I know every once in a while I'll have a downer stream where I'm just like nothing's working this is the worst this is not one of those days I am just quite tired and uh, I'm ready for the weekend, so. Connor, you did not miss much. So, speaking of, uh, of Cage, Nicholas Cage, 
I've never seen Con Air. This is something that I need to rectify this weekend, I think. Somebody's asking me to draw again with the extremity paper. That's So that paper is great for representational photos and printing, but for art, not so much, I found. Does not love the ink, the like wet, you know, ink. Where's my tape? I've never seen Con Air. Yeah. Oh, the chat's going crazy now. One of Nicolas Cage's best films. Yeah. I mentioned this to a... I have a Skype group of other artists that I hang out with and talk with, and somebody quoted me that. Put the bunny down. Um... I remember being a kid and it coming out in the 90s, right? Oh, I hate Mandy. Oh, I'll, t I'll fight someone over Mandy. If I, I, I don't like it at all. I'll go into I'll go into why I don't like Mandy. I love Nicolas Cage, but I do not like Mandy. But I do own Mandy something, and I'll, I'll go into that in a minute. Yeah, I don't like Mandy at all. Yeah, that's fine. I get it. I'm, I know I'm in the minority. That's okay. Uh, love face off. Love face off. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Also, I, I live right under the path of O'Hare. All right. Here's my problem with Mandy. I'll just get on my soapbox really fast and then I'll leave it alone. Okay. I don't like how Mandy is kind of like if it felt like the director was kind of taking was kind of like making fun of like stuff that I love a little bit like every time you think something cool is gonna happen they kind of like pull the rug out from under you and I didn't like it just felt it it had like some sort of like attitude but maybe I'm just too celebratory in nature because I don't know does this make sense I was just like there's that big those really long chainsaws and then it's like the worst action scene ever you know and I was like are we not allowed to have fun with chainsaw swords here all right uh oh the stream is having some trouble maybe YouTube loves Mandy <laughs> never seen raising Arizona Oh my gosh, this stupid stream. There's a good chance my family might be watching Bluey. Okay. <laughs> Connor almost died. Oh. Epilepsy <laughs> and Mandy. Kids versus stream. Yeah, hold on. What is going on? Why is this stream having a problem? It's so random. I'm gonna make, gonna make sure nobody's watching television.
I'm 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 live right now. I'm live right now. Nobody's watching anything. Stupid internet technology. I hate it. I am so sorry. This stream is having so much trouble right now. Man. I do reset my modem. It seem it does seem quite it, it seems random because sometimes we have a just great stream with no problems and then other times <laughs> Man, it's really bad right now. Hold on one sec everyone. Oh my gosh, it's like a stop motion animation. This is terrible. I'm so sorry. This is so sad. Sorry, everyone. I checked, nobody's streaming. And it's not like I don't pay for nice internet. I have Comcast. Never say never, but I don't see Comcast ever being a sponsor on this channel because I can't, I wouldn't be able to lie to you guys like that. Oh, that's good. Thanks all. 
I need a, uh, I need reference. I need, to, I need my, my Gundam book. This drawing is a bad, this is a bad drawing right now. I've got Gundam the Origin here. Some amazing Zaku's drawn in here for sure. Oh, that's so cool. I have a Wi-Fi extender and it's working fine, or so I thought. to look at how bad the stream is performing. Not good. Very bad. It's red. The blue block that shows me it's just terrible. I have no idea why. Oh, it went green for a second. It's crazy. It's like going from like green to red to green. I don't know what it is. Oh, Alpha. I'm ha I'm uh, I'm having fun. I I it's it's um it's the stupid st stupid technology. It just gets in the way of connection. You know? Which is silly to say, because without technology, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't be here, you know, but anyway. I really want to try this technique, because my buddy told me about it, and now I, I like, really want to try it. I have this really old toy that I've dropped so many times. I can't draw these legs to save my life. <laughs> okay. We're overthinking it.
There we go. That's it. Okay, let's just see what we can do here. It looks like the stream is doing a little better. Oh, I shouldn't even talk about it. I shouldn't even talk about it because then it's just going to be bad. I forgot to get some water, so I'm going to go grab that and I'll be right back, okay? We got company. Hey, bro. How you doing? Okay. Well, thanks, dude. Hey, Bo, can you go get me a napkin? Now I'm not allowed to get frustrated with this drawing, with this process, because I'm just experimenting. So if I start getting frustrated, you guys got to call me out on this. Right, this looks pretty good. Always looks good in the beginning, right? Alright, I forgot I need my paints now.
probably take the thing off first. Bo did not find the paper towel, unfortunately. Yep, I'm almost done. Well, this is already really fun. <laughs> We're at the point of the evening where Bo is riding one of my guitar cases like it is a horse. Yes. 
makes me appreciate people that can like actually do this for real, you know. Cause uh, I just lost the thread. I had it and then I lost it. Okay, well, this does not look good, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm not upset. I have to go. Rachel is um, letting me, giving me very strong signals that it is time to wrap things up. It is past six o'clock, so that is on me. It's time to go. Check out the Kickstarter. We're over 200K. Thank you for the support all so far. Uh, this, uh, well, this painting looks very bad. And that's okay. If every stream had an amazing piece of art come out of it, uh, that would be really awesome. But it's not, it's not the case. So. <laughs> 200k. Strikes and gutters. Thanks, everybody. It's been awesome. Uh, thanks for being understanding. Sorry about the stream health. I'm not sure what's up. I am trying to figure out how to get an Ethernet cable into the studio. It was an addition onto the house, which is why I haven't done it already. So it's a little bit far away from the internet. We'll figure it out. We'll get better. Time to hang out with my children and figure out dinner. Till next time. <laughs>